What is martial law in the US? What exactly does martial law mean? In this video, you're going to learn exactly what martial law in the United States means. But before we do that, I want to quickly invite you to hit that subscribe button below and turn the bell notification icon on so you don't miss any of my videos about law and current events in plain English. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So what exactly is martial law in the US? Well, it's a situation where the US military has taken control over a particular region in place of the civilian government. That region could be as small as a city or a county within a state. It could be as large as a state or possibly even an entire portion of the country like the southern states. It could even be the entire United States. Now, martial law is usually declared in response to rebellions, rioting and lawlessness and other emergencies that require military force in order to restore law and order to a particular region. When martial law is declared, local police, courts, and government officials may lose their power. Your civil rights and freedoms are likely going to be suspended, so it's not a very fun place to live. The Constitution doesn't explicitly mention martial law, but it does mention suspending habeas corpus in Article 1, Section 9. Suspending habeas corpus is basically the same thing as declaring martial law. Article 1, Section 9 states, quote, The privilege of the writ of habeas corpus shall not be suspended unless when, in cases of rebellion or invasion, the public safety may require it. So what exactly is habeas corpus? Well, habeas corpus is a Latin word that literally means produce the body. A writ is simply a written document from a judge ordering someone to do something. So, a writ of habeas corpus is a written order from a judge to the jailer ordering him to produce the body. In many countries, the police or military personnel may take people, arrest them, lock them up for months, or in some cases even years, without ever charging them with a crime. The people who are locked up in those countries for no apparent reason without being charged have no way of challenging their imprisonment. So, in the US, we don't have to worry about that because of our right to habeas corpus. But if habeas corpus is suspended under martial law, that right goes away. Under martial law, you lose your right to appear before a neutral judge and challenge your confinement. The military could simply lock you up without charging you with any kind of crime, and there would be no way for you to challenge your incarceration. So now you know exactly what martial law in the United States is. If you like this video, let me know by giving it a like. If you want to learn more about martial law and when it has been declared in the past in the US, then definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button below and turn the bell notification icon on if you have not done so already. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching.